Hi everyone, this is Matt Jaglin with the National Weather Service in Salt Lake City, and this is an updated briefing about the winter storm moving through Utah through Wednesday of this week. Here's a brief overview of the major impacts we are expecting from this storm. Travel will be greatly impaired, mainly above 6,000 feet through Tuesday, with significant accumulating snow on the roadways. However, there may be a brief period when snow and slush will accumulate on roadways down to the valley floors across far northern Utah Tuesday morning, impacting the commute. Colder air will then bring more widespread travel impacts to the valleys Tuesday night through Wednesday. In addition to the travel impacts, the heavy snow, combined with strong winds, will lead to dangerous avalanche conditions in Utah's mountains. Finally, with much of the precipitation falling as rain in the valleys, some localized ponding or flooding is possible in poorly drained locations. First, we'll talk about northern and central Utah, as well as southwest Wyoming. The storm will continue to intensify this evening and overnight, with snow levels in the 5,000 to 6,000 foot range. Water values will be significant with this storm, both with the rain in the valleys and the heavy, denser snow in the mountains. Generally, one to three feet of snow is expected in the northern and central mountains with the highest amounts in areas favored by westerly flow. This heavy snow will cause significant travel impacts on mountain roadways, including Parley's Summit along the Wasatch Back. However, light snow accumulation is expected on valley roadways by Tuesday morning across far northern Utah as snow levels start to fall back to the valley floors. This will bring occasional impacts to the Tuesday morning commute, especially for the Cache Valley, I-15 and I-84 north of Ogden, and State Route 30. More widespread travel impacts are expected for the valleys Tuesday night through Wednesday as colder air moves into the area. The snowfall, combined with strong winds, will also lead to increased avalanche danger. As always, we urge you to check with the Utah Avalanche Center before your mountain recreation activities. In the lower value, valleys, much of the precipitation will fall as rain, which could cause some ponding of water or localized flooding in areas with poor drainage. In southern Utah, precipitation will increase over the area tonight and Tuesday. This will bring accumulating snow on mountain roadways beginning late tonight, particularly along the higher summits. Snow levels will remain above 6,000 feet through much of the day Tuesday, then begin to lower Tuesday night and Wednesday morning, ending up at around 4,000 feet as precipitation starts to taper off. Storm totals of 7 to 14 inches are expected in the southern mountains, mainly above 7,000 feet. Here's a summary of our forecast with some details on our forecast confidence. We're highly confident that we will see high water amounts across northern and central Utah with heavy snowfall in the mountains through Wednesday. This will cause significant travel impacts and avalanche concerns. We're starting to gain some, gain some confidence on snow levels with some travel impacts expected for the valleys of far northern Utah Tuesday morning and more widespread valley travel impacts Tuesday night into Wednesday. Finally, we have lower confidence in the possibility of localized flooding concerns in the lower valleys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email. You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.